Hello and welcome to my G1 Climax 2018 preview as what a perfect time as a wrestling fan to watch your first ever G1 Climax than this one, the G1 Climax 28 as all 19 shows will have English commentary that is uh, going to be a first time for New Japan that is uh, great for fans who need the English commentary that's a perfect fucking thing to have as uh, I mean this G1 Climax is very stacked Block B has 3 out of 4 champions in it as the IWGP Heavyweight Champion and Kenny Omega has the new United States Champion Juice Robinson and has the never open weight champion Ed Hiroki Goto as for Block A has more of the bigger names of the Kazuchika Okadas, the Roshi Tanahashi's, the Minoru Suzuki's, and some new young stars, you know, at having Jay White and Hangman Page both making their debuts in G1 Climaxes in the Block A tournament, and some, you know, bad luck follies, Togi Makabe's evil, who had a big G1 Climax last year, as, uh, also, I mean, talking about, before I go breaking down every single match, I do want to say this. I mean, there's probably at least 10 plus matches that I'd say are kind of must see stuff. We'll start off right at the top. Kenny Omega versus Kota Ibushi. That's going to be the main event of the last show. That's six years in the making. Going back to Budokan. You know, this is the first time in 15 years that New Japan is going to be back to Budokan. First time a wrestling show is taking place at Budokan since Kenny Kobashi's final match and final show, Final Burning, May 11th. 2013, uh, this is, that's going to be a big-ass match. That's going to be, uh, honestly, that that's a match of the year candidate, even with the great stuff we've already seen with, you know, Kenny Omega and Kazuchika Okada and uh, Dominion and even the Ole Miss Johnny Gargano stuff from WWE NXT, stuff like that. Even the great matches we've already seen in 2018, that match is very much a match of the year contender going into it. I'm very excited to see how that goes. Kazuchika Okada versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. That's going to be the first time uh, they've had a match since the IWGP title match against uh, each other. Wrestling Juntaku. Uh, interesting how that plays out. And then we have uh, the two Naito versus Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega versus Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Naito. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Kota Ibushi. Abushi and Tetsuya Naito, a rematch from last year's G1 Climax, where they kicked off uh, the tournament with a great, great match. Uh, Kenny Omega and Juice. Of course, Juice last year upset uh, Kenny Omega. Omega and Goto. I'm really excited to see how that plays out. That was a uh, finals two years ago, which, uh, of course, that brought Kenny Omega into the main event scene and submitted them in the main event scene. Uh, Kenny Omega and Tomohiro Ishii. I always love those two when they have uh, matches against each other, so that's going to be interesting to see. Ishii and Goto, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. You never open weight uh, potential match there. Uh, to, uh, you know, a, a former never open weight champion in, in Goto, uh, that's going to be uh, cool. There's a lot of hard-hitting stuff there. I'm going to really enjoy that. Kota Ibushi and Tomiro Ishii, that's going to be a fun fucking match. Last year they had a block match, and I was very... Excited to see that, and it, it went over so well, and hopefully this one goes as well as the last one did. Uh, Minoru Suzuki and Kazuchika Okada, and Minoru Suzuki and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Kazuchika Okada and Jay White, that's going to be very uh, interesting to see how that plays out. And then Kazuchika Okada and Evil, of course last year Evil beating Kazuchika Okada in the G1 Climax. Um, as far as just little tidbits, some kind of facts that you kind of might not know about, Togi Makabe has finished with 8 points in 4 straight years of the G1 Climaxes. Uh, Bad Luck Fale has never been under 10 points in his career. Hiroki Goto has never been under 10 points since 2015. And of course, uh, you know, we have a couple of winners. We got, you know, Tetsuya Naito, the two-time winner. Can make it, you know, can he go back-to-back -back and also can he make it three times? Uh, Kazuchika Okada has uh, won the G1 Climax before. Kenny Omega, of course, the, already the IWGP champion. It's been... Uh, really, you know, the, the guaranteed title shot has only been a thing since, like, 2012. So, really, uh, the winner 
really before that, before 2012, where they'd go on to Wrestle Kingdom, uh, the winner of the G1 would challenge the IWGP champion at, like, the next major show, which would usually be uh, the October one. Back then, kind of the mid-2000s and, and uh, somewhat in the early, in the late 90s, they would do multiple dome shows. They wouldn't just do one. Uh, like, in 2004 and 2005, they would do one in January, one in June or April, and then one in, like, October or November, which that would usually be the one where the G1 Climax winner would take on the IWGP champion, but now it's a little different. Uh, really, the, there's been two times where the champion has won the uh, tournament. Uh, Kaiji Muto in 1995 and Kazuki Sasaki in 2000, but uh, both of those times uh, they faced uh, outsiders at the uh, next Tokyo Dome show, so like Kaiji Muto took on uh, Takata for the uh, New Japan UWFI feud in 1995, and then Kintsugi Sasaki took on Toshiaki Kawada at, like, a New Japan, All Japan show, which, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I really, it would be unique if a champion would win it again, but I don't, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, if he would win, he'd just challenge someone, uh, whoever he'd want to challenge. That's the, kind of the champion's choice. So, uh, that just a little, some notes, some tidbits... Uh, as to, uh, you know, who would, uh, more stuff. Also, you know, um, out of the 20 participants, eight of them are gaijin, so almost half of the actual participants are gaijin, so that's a little, uh, unique. Well, I'm sure one of these days, there'll be, like, a time where the majority is gaijin, and that'd be weird, and I will be like, huh, that's, that's unique, but, you know, who, who knows. Also, there's been a draw in the past two G1 climaxes, and I will, uh, I will say this, I think... Personally, prediction-wise, there will be a draw in this year's G1 Climax here in the G1 Climax 28th. But uh, now, we'll go to uh, the actual predictions of each match. So we'll start off with July 14th. That's the first day of the 19-day tour of the G1 Climax. Starts off with Block A. And uh, right here, I got a little spreadsheet where I have, uh, you know... Both get, well, I'll have Wrestler 1 here and Wrestler 2 here. And then, like, you could fill in your own predictions. I'm going to uh, make a copy of this where it's blank. And I'll upload it to, um, well, I guess I'll share the link. And I'll also share it on my Discord. So, if, if you want to fill out your own, you can use this little spreadsheet here. It's a nice little gimmick. And uh, it keeps track of who's got the points throughout your days here on the left. And I just wanted to keep that little... Uh, so there's that. So that's kind of cool. Keeps you up to date for your own stuff. But uh, we'll start off here. The order, I put the order, it's a little wonky. You know, there's some stuff, you know, a lot of block A's, the finals. People, it's like Okada versus someone as the, like, the finals. But the, the most of the times, so the main event is uh, where it's supposed to be. As I will start for the first match here, Togi Makabe, Yoshihashi here. That's a little bit of a toss up. <laughs> You know, it's the first day. Could be a guy like Togi Makabe, who's, you know, former IWGP champion. Could get a big win, or an easy win, over Yoshihashi. But I'll go uh, with a prediction. Yoshihashi's going to get the win over Makabe there. That'll probably be the opener. I could also see Bad Luck Fale or Hangman Page versus Hangman Page being the opener. I would assume Bad Luck Fale gets the win here. As uh, Fale is usually booked very strong in these tournaments, in either the G1 Climax or the New Japan Cup. And uh, last year, he beat Togi Makabe in the uh, first day of the G1 Climax last year. And I think he's going to successfully uh, keep the little streak of him winning on the first day going, as he's going to beat Hangman Page in this first G1 Climax. Michael Logan and Evil? I uh, could really see this going either way, honestly. I'm just going with Evil because I prefer Evil. <laughs> Michael Logan, piece of shit. Hopefully he doesn't do well. And here we have Hiroshi Tanahashi, Minoru Suzuki. That's going to be a banger. Uh, of course, that's the uh, rematch from the last time these two had a match. Uh, it was for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Minoru Suzuki and Hiroshi Tanahashi. And uh, I'll go with Minoru Suzuki getting the win here. Simply, it's a bit of a toss-up. Usually Tanahashi in these G1 Climaxes. He'll lose maybe the first two matches, maybe even for first three matches, and then he'll come back and win, like, the last uh, five or six. 
to kind of finish out even at six and three or seven and three or eight or you know eight and two something like that around those those varieties of numbers. And then the main event, or what could be the main event, of course, the Roshi Town Ashimoto Suzuki. That is definitely a main event caliber match. But I'll just say for what this is, Kazuchika Okada versus Jay White. If this is the main event. Could be very interesting here because Jay White, after just now losing the United States Championship, has got a lot to prove here. And having. He's either going to beat Kazuchika Okada or Roshi Tanahashi in this G1 climax. I truly believe that. I would, I'm going to predict he's going to upset Kazuchika Okada on the very first show of the G1 climax here on July 14th. G1 Climax gets a little crazy. Uh, it gets There's a lot of times where logic gets thrown out the window. And you just kind of look for those upset wins. And this is primed upset get territory here for Kazuchika Okada. As Jay White had just now lost his championship. He's got a lot of, a lot of proof here. Two Chaos guys going at it. This could also sh uh, build a little tension between Okada and Jay White. Maybe uh, a, a uh, oh, with what just happened at the G1 Climax show in the U.S., the G1 Climax special in San Francisco, I don't think they'll tease a chaos split because there's already a fucking Bullet Club one. So I don't think they'll do multiple splits of stables. That would kind of overdo it. But they'll just create some tension to be like, oh, shit. Or maybe even impress Okada. It can be something like that where he's like, holy shit. You know, I gotta bring my A-game. Gotta wake up. You know, it's G1 Climax time. Cannot be sleeping in this tournament. So, we'll go on to July 15th. The second night of the G1 Climax. is the starting show of Block B. As you know, if you never experienced a G1 Climax, basically you'll have a Block A show then you have a block b show but there'll also be undercard of tag matches on these shows of the you know let's say if it's like right now it's july 20 july 15th so uh block a guys will be a tag matches on the undercard to hype up for these uh block matches as a very uh stacked card here a lot of block b there's a like at least two and three matches you'll see on a given show where you're just like, man, that's a good fucking match. And that shows you a, a lot of the newer fans will be like, man, Block B stacked, but Block A has the star power and the big name guys, and even the guys of old, like the Togi Makabe's and the Fale's. Guys, if, you know, if you're kind of, you know the style of New Japan, you know how they protect the kind of the, those types of guys. It, it's, you know, it's, Kind of the old school and the new school, because a lot of these uh, guys are here in the Block B. You know, guys, guys like Juice, Tomatonga, Zack Sabre Jr., King Omega, and then you have Naito and Sonata, and uh, you know Ishii too, who's over as fuck, and Kota Ibushi. Guys like who are awesome, just awesome, and it, it's very much a complete block. And with all now three championships all in that same block, every night is kind of must see for this Block B, as a uh, Interesting to see what's going to be the opener. I really have no idea uh, what it could be. As uh, I'll just go into, to, uh, we'll start here with the top. Tumir Ishii versus Toriyama, the tag team, the stable mates, uh, going one on one. Could honestly see a Yano upset, just kind of roll up on his partner and uh, stable mate and Tomiri Ishii. But I'm going to go with Tomiri Ishii getting the win, getting a nice start. In the right direction for Tomori Ishii. I feel like the office of New Japan has kind of taken Tomori Ishii down a peg. And it's kind of taken him away from kind of a, a major match in a major spotlight. Even though he had a phenomenal U.S. title uh, match and a feud with Kenny Omega the previous year. Just think Ishii and the office to kind of maybe push them down a little bit, but who knows, maybe this is finally the year where Ishii can get some a lot of momentum, and even be in a finals of a G1 Climax, that'd be a lot of fun and cool for me as a big Tomura Ishii fan and supporter, but just don't, even with this Block B's in, if he was in Block A, could definitely see it, but being in Block B, it's a hard, hard block to win. Uh, then we have Juice Robinson, Tomatonga, of course Tomatonga coming off a big angle, uh, starting the Firing Squad, Bullet Club, uh, 
and, and you know the new shirts and whatnot, and the big laying out most of the former Bullet Club guys. And now we have Juice, the U.S. champion. I'm gonna say Tama Tonga beats Juice. I think to set up for a U.S. title shot in the future, a lot you know that's the thing with um, every champion in these G1 climaxes. Whenever they lose, they uh, have to defend their championship at a later date. So, you know, at a Destruction show or King of Pro Wrestling show, you'll see title matches based off of this G1 Climax. So, that was probably going to be one U.S. title uh, match, Tama Tonga versus Juice Robinson. We have Hiroki Goto versus Sonata. I'll say Goto gets the win here. I don't think Sonata's going to have a never open weight title match in the future. That's kind of the reason behind that. Kota Ibushi and Zack Sabre Jr., what a fucking match that's going to be. I think Zack Sabre Jr. is going to get the win there. And then Kenny Omega versus Tetsuya Naito. I think Tetsuya Naito is going to beat Kenny Omega here. And he's going to beat him for the championship at a later show. I do not believe Kenny Omega is going to have going to walk in to Wrestle Kingdom 13 as the champion. I truly don't. I don't know why. And I think mainly because of who was on block A and or even block A or block B it would be unique it'd be just weird my heart was like oh it's gonna be Ibushi's gonna win the G1 Climax and it's gonna be Ibushi Omega but then they also gonna have their match already here at the finals and we'll talk about more when that match goes on but really it's down to is are they gonna do Omega Okada 5 really don't think so especially not this early five matches in two years after especially what just happened at dominion uh, just a month ago to really have five matches in two years you're really overdoing it i think it'd be a a bad decision even though it'd be a great match and it, it you know would probably sell out the wrestle kingdom and you know, maybe even a record time you know but really i just don't expect that to be the rematch uh, to be you know, having the fifth match so close to what's going on with, uh, you know, I I'm assuming one in five, it's going to be, it started at Wrestle Kingdom, it's going to end at Wrestle Kingdom type of thing, but obviously they're going to have m more matches later on down the line in either G1 Climax or something like that, but as far as this the series now, it's not a trilogy anymore, it's a series. Just don't think it's going to be the main event of this upcoming Wrestle Kingdom. I think Tetsuya Naito is going to beat Kenny Omega here. And he's going to beat him again for the championship. I could definitely uh, see Kenny Omega. However, let's say losing this match and then beating Tetsuya Naito at the actual championship match later on. As we go to July 16th. At the second Block A match, we have Block A show. We have Yoshiashi and Evil. I think Evil's going to get the win here. Pretty self-explanatory. Yoshiashi's going to be at the bottom of the list as far as guys in this tournament as far as points go. Michael Logan and Hangman Page. I think Hangman Page is going to get the win here. That's a big kind of win for Hangman Page also. But Michael Logan. Kazuchika Okada and Bad Luck Fale. I think Okada's going to get the win here. After bouncing back against Jay White losing, he'll come back. And win against Bad Luck Fale. Togi Makabe and Minoru Suzuki. I'm going to go with uh, Togi Makabe getting the win here. It's a big win for Togi Makabe. And as far as, you know, the streak finished with eight points in four straight years. I do think he's going to finish with eight points in five straight years. I think this year in G1 Climax he'll get eight points. So there's two points for him on the board. And Hiroshi Tanashi and Jay White. Uh, like I talked about in the Okada Jay White match. I truly think Jay White's going to either beat Tanahashi or Okada. Just for this prediction, I'm going to say he beats Okada. And then Tanahashi, he'll just always have the upper hand on Jay White. Until maybe later on down the line, maybe Jay White's going to beat him. Uh, in, a, in a big time match or even a G1 Climax match. Our next show, we have July 19th, the second uh, day for Block B. Sanana and Tamatanga. I think uh, Sanana's going to get the win here. Big, you know, Sonata gets a win for, uh, I believe it's going to be his first one of the tour, and it is. So he gets his first win of the tournament. Toriano and Zack Sabre Jr., that's going to be a fun match. A lot of uh, built up, you know, from the spot of Zack countering 
the low blow spot. Could definitely see some shenanigans where Yano gets a win over Zach. But I'll go with official predictions. I think Zach's going to get the win. Keeps him strong looking in the tournament. I think he's going to have a strong showing last year. Debut in the uh, G1 Climax. He had 10 wins. Or he had 10 points rather. He had 10 points. He beat Hiroshi Tanahashi on that first night. He had a lot of big time wins. And I think uh, he's going to look just as strong as he did last year. Juice Robinson, Kota Ibushi, that's going to be a fun little match. I think Juice Robinson is going to get the win just because Kota Ibushi, I don't see him having a U.S. title shot in the future. Tomori Ishii and Tetsuya Naito, what a big time match that's going to be here. And Tetsuya Naito, I think he's going to get the win over Tomori Ishii. And then what could be the main event, I'm assuming so. Hiroki Goto, Kenny Omega, champion versus champion. Big time match here. And I'm going to go with the big upset. I think Goto's going to get the win. I uh, just... It being champion versus champion, I could definitely see Kenny getting the win. But, very early in the tournament. L what Ghetto likes doing for his baby faces is having guys lose early and coming back and finishing strong. Goto and Omega, they have the history. The finals two years ago. Goto gets his win back from losing against Omega in the finals. Uh, is he going to get a championship match? Yeah, I, I think he'll, he will. I think he'll drop the never open way title match to someone at an earlier show before then. And then Omega, Goto has a, a you know, big time match type of feel to it. As a, and then just an easy one too for Omega to get his win back after losing it here at the G1 Climax. A, a title defense for Omega to get under his belt. That's going to be a fun match. I can't wait to see how that plays out. Because their match uh, at the finals, it was more of just Omega doing all, like, you know, he's doing like a Styles Clash, the Bloody Sunday, uh, the Golden Star Bomb. You're just kind of doing uh, guys from elsewhere moves. So hopefully this one will be a lot more dense and a lot more Goto trying to do everything he can to be Kenny Omega. Even if, like, Goto, for some odd reason, that's like a one wing angel or some shit, that'd be a lot of cool. A uh, lot of fun and cool to see Goto getting a uh, big upset win over the IWGP champion. And also just the, the momentum, too, of Goto, because uh, I believe at this point he'll have two, uh, he'll have four points. He will. So now it's him and Naito tied at this point. So then it's even like, oh, is this finally going to be the year Goto's not a loser and he could win the G1 Climax? But of course, maybe that's going to change. As, uh,. Then we have July 20th, the third day for Block A. Yoshi Ashima Noah Suzuki. Easy win for Noah Suzuki. Uh, Jay White, Michael Logan. I think Michael Logan's going to get the win here. It uh, gets a win for Michael Logan. Just kind of a, a thing. He's got to at least win a couple of matches because the New Japan office thinks uh, very highly of Michael Logan, even though I think most of the, the fans in the wrestling world are not a big fan of Michael Logan. And, uh, just sad thing, Jay White's gonna take the fall. Hiroshi Tanahashi, bad luck, Fale. I think Fale's gonna get the win here, again. He, Fale's gonna look strong, Fale Tanahashi. There's always been that history of, uh, Fale being the bigger names on these tournaments. And I think he's gonna get another big name here in Hiroshi Tanahashi. As, uh, that will make Fale now at four points. Going into it, an evil Makabe. Evil gets the win over Makabe. That could really go either way, honestly. Uh, that's a bit of a close one to call. Uh, as far as the main event for this, I don't think it's going to be Kazuchika Okada, Hangman Page. I think the main event's going to be Tanahashi Fale. Uh, as, uh, or it could even be Makabe Evil, in all honesty. Uh, if Okada was... I could see Okada, Hangman Page, honestly. But uh, being the main event, I just would... Uh, much rather have a more balanced main event than just Okada Hangman Page. Okada's gonna get the win. I don't think Hangman's gonna get the big upset on Kazuchika Okada. Next night, we have for Block B, July 21st, Toyana Kuro Ibushi. That'd be a fucking fun match there. <laughs> just a lot of comedy stuff there, a lot of kind of a shades of DDT match maybe between those two. That'd be a lot of fun to see. Uh, I think Ibushi's going to get the win here. Zack Sabre Jr. and Sonata, that's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see that. That's a a rematch from the 
G1 from the New Japan Cup. That was a semifinals match as uh, Sonata and Zack Sabre Jr. Couldn't it be interesting to see how that plays out. And then uh, we have Juice Robinson, Tetsuya Naito. Juice Robinson going to get the win here. Mainly because I don't think Naito is going to win and have like a, a U.S. title shot. I think it's going to, you know, Juice gets a big win. He gets, uh, you know, last year I think he had six points off the top of my head. He might have had eight. But now he's going to get a bigger role here. Now that he's a champion going into it. And now this is going to be the main event, Kenny Omega Tama Tonga, especially what just happened. With the uh, the official split of Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa away from Bullet Club. And Kenny Omega. A lot of people probably think Tama Tonga's going to win here. I still don't think he's going to win. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a big time match. I think the belt's going to be there. But Kenny Omega is going to get the win. I just, just don't see it. Man, I don't. Maybe because I already have him losing to Goto. You know, especially for this narrative I've already created. Alright, he's lost to Naito. He's lost to Goto. And now, he's 0-2. And he's taking on Tama Tonga. You know, the, the backs against the wall type of thing. And he's going to persevere. He's going to beat Tama Tonga and get on the board for the first time in this tournament. And then Goto and Ishii will be the co-main event. Goto just now coming off a big win over... Kenny Omega, and actually, I'm going to change this right here on the fly. I think Tomori Ishii is going to get the win here. He's going to bounce back after Goto's riding high after beating Kenny Omega. Tomori Ishii is going to bounce back and win over Hoki Goto, giving Ishii now four points. A big, I mean, this is a four-way tie here going into it here. Early on in the tournament, Toriano still with zero points. As, uh, you know, really got Ishii, Juice, Hogoto, Naito, and Zack Sabre Jr. All with four points. Really anybody's ball game here. With the Golden Lovers with two points. As uh, we go back to Block A here, July 22nd. We got Michael Elgin, Yoshiashi. Easy win for Elgin. Jay White, Minoru Suzuki. Man, you know, Jay White. I have him winning here. That's a bit strong. <laughs> That's... I'm going to change that. That Minoru Suzuki is going to win that one. Uh, Minoru Suzuki, Jay White. I think Minoru Suzuki is going to get the win. Hiroshi Tanashi, Hangman Page. Hangman Page, I just got a feeling he's going to beat Hiroshi Tanashi. A big win for uh, Hangman Page in his debut in the G1 Climax. Fale and Evil. I'm going to go Fale here. You know, Fale gets the win there. And Kazuchika Okada, Togi Makabe. Kazuchika Okada getting the win there. Main event is probably going to be... Jay White, Minoru Suzuki? Could also be Evil Fale. As we go to the 22nd, a bit of a leap there. A four-day break for the tournament. We have Goto and Toriano. Toriano finally gets on the board there, beating Oroki Goto. Tama Tonga, Tetsuya Naito. I think Naito's going to get the win there. Tomori Ishii, Zack Sabre Jr. I think Zack Sabre Jr. is going to get the win. That's going to be a, a fun match. Can't wait to see how that one plays out. Give me Omega and Juice, the, the rematch from last year's G1 Climax. And uh, when Kenny Omega lost to Juice, leading up to a U.S. title match. And uh, now champion versus champion. That's going to be the main event, uh, of course. Kenny Omega, I think, is going to get the win there. As uh, just, you know, keeping him. He lost the champion versus champion match against Goto, but he's going to beat Juice here in the champion versus champion match. Could also see, you know, that'd be a hell of a roll-up win again. You know, just somehow Juice gets a roll-up win over Kenny Omega. Shocks the world, but that's uh, just too many losses. If that happens, Goto's gonna lose to Omega, so that's the type of thing. Could look forward to if, uh, you know, plans go the way that goes. Uh, then we have Kodo Bushi versus Sonata. That will probably be much more down the card. That's probably gonna be before Ishii and Zack and, of course, Omega Juice. I think Ibushi's gonna get the win there. Big win over Sonata. As July 27th, Block A show. Evil Hangman Page. I think Evil's going to get the win there. Jay White, Bad Luck Fale. Jay White gets the win. Big win there for Jay White. Minoru Suzuki, Michael Elgin. Could see Elgin getting the win there. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully Minoru Suzuki gets the win. Hiroshi Tanashi, Togi Makabe. I'll say Tanashi gets the win there. And of course, Okada, Yoshiashi. Not even a discussion. 
because the Trico Okada is going to kill him. As uh, at this point in the tournament, as we have Okada, Evil, and Suzuki all having eight points. That's a big, big stuff there. As July 28th now, we have Block B, Tomatonga, Zack Sabre Jr. Zack Sabre Jr. getting a win over Tomatonga. Juice Robinson, Toriyano. I think Juice is going to get the win. Toriyano getting an upset win and having a U.S. title shot in the future. I could see that happening. Just uh, not official prediction. Goto Naito. I think Naito's going to get the win. That's probably going to be the main event, in all honesty. Or it could be Ishii and, and uh, Kota Ibushi. Kenny Omega versus Sonata. I think Kenny Omega's going to win. And Ibushi, Ishii. I think Ibushi's going to get the win there. That's going to be a hell of a match. A lot of some good stuff there. Ishii, Ibushi, Naito, Goto. That's a, some good stuff there. And then at this point, Naito and... Zack Sabre Jr. tied with first with eight points. Then we have a three-way tie for second with Omega, Juice, and Kota Ibushi. Uh, everybody has points, though, so there's that so far. July 30th, probably the last of July here for Block A. As uh, Togi Makabe, a bad luck Fale. I think Fale is going to get the win here. Could go either way, though, honestly. That's a bit of a coin flip one. That's either way. Togi Makabe, Fale, cup two hard-hitting dudes. They'll probably kill it. Jay White, Hangman Page. I think Hangman Page is going to get the win here. I think uh, he's going to get his win back after losing to at Strong Style of All to Jay White. Hiroshi Tanashi, Yoshiashi. Hiroshi Tanashi with an easy win there. Evil Minoru Suzuki. That's going to be a fun match. I can't wait to see how that plays out. Uh, that'd be a huge win for Evil. Just think Monoa Suzuki is going to get the win there. Okada, Elgin, hopefully, because Ichigo Okada gets the win there. As, uh, then at this point, Okada and Suzuki both tied for first with 10. And Fale and Evil with 8 points in second. As, uh, the first show in August, August 1st, we have Tomura Ishii Tamatanga. I think Ishii's going to get the win there. Juice and Sonata. I think, uh, Sonata's going to get the win and have a U.S. title shot in the future. Toriyano and Tetsuya Naito. I think Naito's going to get the win there. Kenny Omega, Zack Sabre Jr. That's going to be the main event. That's going to be a very good matchup there. My God. I'll say Kenny Omega gets the win. That's going to be quite the barn burner. Hiroki Goto, Kota Ibushi. That's also going to be a, a very good match. I think Ibushi's going to get the win there. So at this point, going into August, we have Block B. Tetsuya Naito in the lead with 10 points. Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega, and Zack Sabre Jr. with 8 points. And then Juice and Tomorishi with 6. So the Tawatanga not looking too good, even though he just uh, had a big-ass angle to close the show, beating up the IWGP champion with his uh, dad and brother. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. I still don't see the office. Uh, just him being in that block is just tough. It's a tough block to be in. As we have uh, Block A show, Jay White, Yoshihashi, Jay White, easy win over Yoshihashi, Togi Makabe, Hangman Page. I'll say to Togi Makabe gets the win there. That's an uh, easy win for Togi. As uh, Michael Elgin and Bad Luck Fale, I'll just give the win to Elgin here. I, Fale, he's bit on a bit of a run. He's got 10 points already. I think he's going to start cooling off and start losing a, little, a bit more. It's going to lose to Elgin there. Evil Hiroshi Tanahashi. I think Evil's going to beat Hiroshi Tanahashi here. The man who beat Okada last year and this year, he's going to beat Hiroshi Tanahashi. That's some, some big names there. And then the main event, what a match this is going to be. Good main and co-main here. This is going to be a solid night for Block A. Kazuchika Okada, Minoru Suzuki. I think Kazuchika Okada's going to get the win there. That's going to be a hell of a match. Can't wait to see how that one plays out. Could also see Suzuki beating Okada because that really hasn't been done with Suzuki beating him because uh, they drew last year in the G1 Climax and uh, they had their little trilogy last year with their title match in New Beginning which uh, Okada beat Suzuki in and then he, they drew and then they had like the DDT Dome match at the... I think it was at the Tokyo Dome. It might have been somewhere else. They had a big time match for and... Uh, and DDT. So maybe this will maybe be the time Minoru Suzuki finally gets a win 
over Kazuchika Okada in New Japan after uh, their trilogy last year. August 4th, we got Toriyano Sonata. Sonata gets the win there. That's going to be a fun little match. Anytime, you know, Yano. Having a, a uh, Yano in this block is perfect because he's got a lot of talented guys and now they can have a cool down for uh, a, a night <laughs> to take on Toriyano. So, and uh, go to Tamatanga. I'll say Goto gets the win there. Uh, he's looking pretty strong in this tournament. Never openweight champ. I could also see Tom Tonga finally getting some wins under his belt, beating Goto, having a never open weight title match in the future. Juice and Zack Sabre Jr. I'll say Juice gets the win. That's a big time matchup. That's gonna be a hell of a hell of a match. Kota Ibushi and Tetsuya Naito. I think Ibushi's gonna get the win here. That's that's gonna be a hell of a match. Yeah, I mean, just really matches from Juice and Zack up. Crazy stuff there. Kenny Omega, Tomori Ishii. As much as I'd love to see Tomura Ishii get a big upset win, just don't think it's going to happen. Kenny Omega gets the win. At this point, three-way tie for first with Ibushi, Omega, Naito at 10, Zack Sabre Jr. and Juice Robinson at 8 points uh, in second. And Goto and Sonata in Ishii with 6 in behind. So, we have uh, August 5th, Block A show. This is going to be the final um, shows before... The Budokan shows, because uh, the final three days are going to be in Budokan, which I think the actual finals finals sold out in 19 minutes. So a lot of <laughs> a lot of hype for that card as the main event for that. The finals is uh, Kitty Omega versus Kota Ibushi and the uh, the night before Tsuchiko Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi. So that's going to be some big time stuff for this block A uh, show here. We have Bad Luck Fala Yoshihashi, easy win for Fala A. We have Hangman Page, Minoru Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki going to get the win there. Togi Makabe, Jay White. I think Makabe is going to get the win over Jay White. Tanahashi Elgin could see the office giving Elgin a win, but personally, I don't want to see that, so giving the win to Tanahashi. And then Evil Okada, a rematch from the G1 Climax last year. I think Okada is going to get the win back over Evil. And at this point, we have Okada with 14 points, Minoru Suzuki with 12, Evil and Fale with 10. And then, uh, you know, guys like Yoshiashi with two. Makabe has got six points now. Can he get it to eight? <laughs> you know, <laughs> type of thing. And, uh, you know, Jay White doing a pretty solid for a debut. You know, him and Hangman with six points. They still got a couple of uh, shows left, though. See if they can make it to eight. We have uh, the first Budokan show. Really interesting. See, this is probably um, for Block B. Interesting to see who's going to main event this show. Because uh, really, I put Naito Sonata there at the kind of the end spot. Just as, you know, LIJ guys going at it. But I could, you know, juice Ishii, uh, Obushi, Tamatanga maybe. Even go to Zack Sabre Jr. could be the main event. Really, there, there's really a lot of variables. A lot of different combinations could, could be the main event of the August 8th show. Ishii and Juice... I could see Ishii getting the win here, but I'll give the win to Juice. Looking strong. Goto and Zack Sabre Jr. Giving it Goto here. He just now, he gets that, uh, just closer and closer to the, those 10 points. Tamatanga, Kota Ibushi. Could see Tamatanga upset and Kota Ibushi here. There's something about this match that's got, got a funny feeling in my stomach for an upset win for Tamatanga, but I'm going to go uh, with my heart. And go with Kota Ibushi getting the win. Toriyano Kenny Omega, of course, last year. Either you hated the match or you loved the match. Him and uh, Omega. That's probably going to be the same type of feeling here. You love it or hate it. Give the IWGP champion a break in the tournament. And also give him an easy win in the block. And then Tetsuya Naito and Sonata. I think Sonata's going to have the big upset win over his stable leader. A lot of... <laughs> I think I've been noticing they have these trends. I've been having the under guys in the stables upsetting the leaders here. You know, I've seen it with Sonata and Naito earlier. I predicted Jay White, Okada. And I, you, you, we could see Tamatanga beating Kenny Omega. A lot of... Looks like that could be a theme of this G1 Climax is the, the stable guys upsetting uh, each other here. As that's going to be an interesting 
block but you ain't gonna have the same feeling as the previous blocks uh b match block b shows but you could still see it being a uh, a fun sh a fun night of g1 climax action august 10th we have the uh the last of block a and uh what a show this is gonna be we got some big time matchups here I think Yoshiashi is going to beat Hangman Page, though, to, to open up the, the tournament uh, round-robin matchups. As uh, Yoshiashi is going to finish with four points. Hangman Page is going to finish with six. Togi Makabe, Michael Logan. Togi Makabe gets that win. He gets that uh, that Covenant eight points <laughs> to uh, finish him with five straight years with eight points. Minoru Suzuki, bad luck for I think Suzuki's going to get the win there. Could see Fale getting a big win, though. But I think Suzuki's going to win. Tying Okada with uh, 14 points. Jay White, Evil. I think Jay White's going to win there. That's a big win over Evil. And he's going to finish with 8 points. And Evil finishing with 10. Hiroshi Tanahashi and Kazuchika Okada. What a main event that's going to be. Uh, the last time these two had a G1 Climax match, it was a draw. And now we have Tanahashi Okada. Tanahashi is going to get the win here. I think he's going to bounce back from wrestling Gutaku and from the Troll and really the previous two. The last time Tanahashi's beaten Okada in a singles match. Long fucking time. Wrestle Kingdom 10. As, uh, was quite a while. You know, Wrestle Kingdom 9. Way back when. And, uh, just, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun match. I always, it's honestly, it's my favorite, maybe. Yeah, yeah it is my favorite feud ever in, in New Japan these two, the rivalry between these two, the story that was told, I'm always a fan of them, anytime these two go at it uh, it is must see can't wait to see how that goes, especially at Budokan, that's gonna be fucking crazy can't wait to see how that goes, as uh, we got the finals, final uh, day of the block matches for block B, Toyama Tamatanga Tamatanga gets a win there, finishing with 4 points that's probably too low honestly in, in all uh, seriousness I think he'll finish with at least 6 maybe even 8 uh, just the way they've been pushing him if this was kinda before the split he would have finished with like 4 but it's just also too he's in a stack block is another thing Ishii and Sanada I think Ishii's gonna get the win there that's a big time win for Ishii finishing with uh, 8 points and Sonata also finishing with 8 points. Juice Robinson, Hiroki Goto, champion versus champion. I think Juice is going to get the win there. Finishing with 12 points. That's pretty big for Juice. He's almost doubling what he had last year. But uh, I think he might not finish with that many points. He might finish with around 10, maybe even 8. 12 might be a little too much, but I'm going with it still. Goto's going to finish with 8. So he's actually going to finish... Well, actually, we're going to change that right on the spot here. I think Goto's going to win. There you go. Goto's gonna be Juice. Goto's gonna beat the U.S. champ and the Intercontinental and the IWGP champion. He's gonna beat the U.S. champion and the heavyweight champion. Wow, maybe not. That's he's gonna get ten points now. I think that's that's my my gut feeling there. Naito, Zack Saber Jr. I think Zack's gonna get the win over Naito. Zack's gonna finish with ten points. Naito's also gonna finish with ten points, and then. We got Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi. I think they're going to draw. I think it's going to be 30 minutes. Time of a draw. You're going to want to see more. Could build up to a Wrestle Kingdom match, possibly. Or Omega's going to drop the belt before that happens. And even, uh, even so. So now, we have both the Golden Lovers finishing with 13 points. Now, a bit of a predicament here. So they don't have a tiebreaker. Because Ibushi and Omega tie. So now it's like, well, who did who beat? Uh, so Omega lost to Goto. And he lost to Naito. Ibushi lost to... Let me just double check real quick. He lost to... He, so he beats Naito. So he gets a, an edge over Omega there. And he beats Goto, so he gets an edge there. And then he beats Ishii. He 
beat Sonata. He beats Yano. Of course, that's pretty easy there. He loses to Juice, so Kenny Omega's got that win over him. And he loses to Zack Sabre Jr., which, of course, so really, they don't have the same tiebreakers either. <laughs> So that's going to be a tough one to decide who's going to advance here. That, uh, I'm just going to go... Because really, that never has really happened before. Usually, Ghetto's pretty... You know, he'll make it to where someone at least finishes with, like, Omega will finish with, like, 11 or 12. And then Ibushi will finish with 13 or 12 to make it so where there's not a draw at the end of these uh, blocks here. So that's going to be a bit interesting to see how that plays out. Hopefully it's not that confusing. Maybe Ibushi just loses once and Omega loses twice with the draws. But uh, here, you know, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep... Oh, you know what? We'll make it a little easier. We'll make it... Where's, uh... Where's, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Ibushi here? We'll change that. Ibushi... Juice, yeah, he's still gonna, Juice still gonna beat him, but then he's gonna beat. What else? Was Zach Sabre Jr. Eh, nope, that ain't it. Where the hell is it? Ishi. Must have been. Was it night one? Yeah, it was night one. I just didn't fucking see it. I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have a Bushi beat him. So that way. Now. Went a little too far. There we go. So now gonna have Ibushi at 15, Omega at 13, so that's, that way it's not as confusing <laughs> as it was when they're both at 13. As, uh, then we have, well, now who's gonna be who? So we have the winner block B, Kota Ibushi, the winner block A, Kazuchika Okada, run up being Suzuki, run up being Omega, the IWGP champion, and who's gonna win between Okada, Ibushi, my heart wants Ibushi, my brain says Okada, I'm going to go with the brain on this one. Kazuchika Okada, G1 Climax winner, is getting his ticket set for January 4th, the main event. It's going to, you know, and just for a tiebreaker thing, just in case uh, multiple people have the same uh, results. I'll say it goes 32-45. That might be a bit under. It's probably going to go 35, maybe even 37, maybe even 40, uh, but uh, that's a bit low. I think it's probably gonna go 35 plus but that's just a general number there so what a tournament that's gonna be can't wait to see how that plays out block b if you know i would recommend watching all the shows to be honest uh just as a fan of g1 climax i've been following every kind of day type of following since 2014 2013 was the first time they started um uh, broadcasting it live with the ipay reviews and you streams and whatnot but they started doing that kind of halfway through it. And kind of then I would just only watch like the matches I'd want to see. And not the full shows. And not the full, uh, not every 19 shows. Of course, I think back then too it was a little bit different. They uh, split them. And I think it was, no, it was, it was 2014. Yeah, they did the switch of the format to where uh, block A's are uh, one day and block B is another day type of thing. Because it used to be split, which that was uh, very taxing. And hurting on the uh, the guy, so they switched it up to make it a little easier for everyone and easier to follow. But that will do it for my predictions. Can't wait to see how you guys go uh, for predictions. Really, realistically, there's really five guys that I can legitimately say they have a chance of winning. Block A. Well, actually, no. We'll go six. I on uh, six guys: Okada, Suzuki, Tanahashi. And for Block B, Bushi, Naito, and Omega. Really, those six. It's not like it was last year where it was like, oh yeah, Tetsuya Naito is for sure going to win. It's So that's why this one, yeah, it doesn't have the Intercontinental Champion, but it's got a stacked Block B. Block A's got the big names. Something for everyone. Should be a lot of fun. I can't wait. One of my favorite times of the year. G1 Climax. Can't wait for it. Hope you guys are excited for it as well. As uh, every show is going to have a review of it right after the show gets aired. So 
You'll be seeing a lot more videos from me in this month and even the next month in August. Can't wait to see how it goes. Hope you guys are excited for it as I am, and we'll see you for the opening of the G1 Climax. Take care.